I am live now, as so you know. I'm live now. So, I'm aiming. Let's see, lights. Over there. I'll go ahead and just ramble. Uh, so, yeah, it's about 6 11 p.m. I'll try to find a spot where you have good Wi Fi on the, the, uh, the walkway. is always an interesting experience. Um, so, as much as uh, the day kind of continued as the way it had been most of the day, uh, the Trans Canada workers working on their road, which I assume they're trying to bring closer to the monopod, which is still up with Mary still in it. She has been there now for over 30 hours, over 35 hours. I don't know the exact amount, but it's close. I mean, she's tomorrow will be two days. That's all I can tell you. <clears throat> and so she's holding strong. Uh, a lot of people up here are just kind of a. Uh, I was playing like some word games to pass the time, um, which has been really interesting and, and fun. And trying to get the uh, the police officers and sheriffs to join in, uh, they they seem very vocal, which again is not not very vocal. And they'll have a conversation uh, earlier. People were talking about hunting and fishing in the area and what that was like. And I I did ask questions about bass fishing in the area, stuff like that. And just you know, of course they they uh, always would insist on the people coming down. You know, they would do them a fair to they come down and everyone up here says, you know, no, we're going to stay up. And then they're like, well, maybe if you, <laughs> there's a point where someone's like, well, maybe if you uh, quit your job, you can come up here, hang out with us. Hey, anyone who's just joining, I'm doing my best to stay live. I'm having a lot of connection issues as usual. I uh, have been tweeting all the day. Uh, all the day. And um, check it So you can see uh, folks moving across. This is the sheriff's. I don't know if you can see them, actually. See his feet moving right there. So there's been patrols in the woods. Now hopefully my audio is okay. Uh, right now we just have uh, two spotlights. You can see this one right here. And then on the other side, which is the south side of the blockade, you can see it right there. Right there. So those will be on all night. Uh, as far as now, I think they're just trying to ensure that nobody touches their machinery uh, earlier on in the the campaign, if you look at the Tar Sands blockade blog, you can see that they had some people who locked down to various machinery like this to ensure it couldn't be used until they were uh, taken off of it. So that, that's that been, I think, the reason why they have the floodlights and also is to, to watch the area and limit the mobility of the people in the trees. Uh, so far today, I've basically lived most of my life on a maybe 40 foot long structure that's 40 feet off the ground. And that has been how I've been spending my time. Uh, luckily, the conversations have been really good. And I've been learning a lot about you know, why folks are here, what brought them here, and why they're going to stay. And again, it's interesting, uh, looking back at OWS, that the, you know, the response is always, you know, we're going to stay, and we don't plan on going anywhere. And that's the same response here, is that they're going to stay, and they're not planning to go anywhere. And of course, the uh, Trans Canada employees don't like that. And the sheriffs are, as they told us, acting in their law to move us because we're obstructing a uh, rightful business or however they wanted to view it. Uh, so, yeah, as a, it continues to unfold, people are just, you know, hanging out. There's people in trees around me, people on this walkway. Uh, the work has pushed forward a little further. I think by tomorrow they'll probably be up to this line. And if you look at this white line here, that's actually a lifeline. If they cut that, it'll cause one of the structures to fall, which will, if there's somebody in it, kill them. And they have let the workers and the sheriffs know that these lines are supporting the structure that we're all in, uh, supporting the structures there even higher up, and that them doing anything to them will cause bodily harm. Oh, thanks to you, Courtney Occupy. Yeah, my, I assume that they to be frozen a lot. I apologize for that, but I'm just keep uh, narrating with the audio. But yeah, right now there's just, you know, uh, four people now just chilling on the walkway. Somebody came down from one of the trees to uh, have dinner. And as I, I don't know if you saw the earlier pictures I tweeted, there's um, a complicated set of uh, kind of pulley rope systems. Some of them are lifelines that people can travel if they know how. 
uh, through the trees. I, I personally don't think I will be doing that. <laughs> so it's not my spiel, but uh, it's pretty interesting to watch. Uh, it's really pretty exciting, even though it's like the opposite of of you know. I guess I keep thinking of, like the hustle and bustle of a city. It's definitely there's not that, but there is. A, I mean, there is a living village in these trees. Uh, people sharing stories and foods and living and food and living life together. And so I guess in that way. Yeah, I don't know if I can feed the fix the the feed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep talking for a little bit. I'll probably be up for another five minutes and then I'll go down. Um, I also, if you if you want to see other updates, check out. Uh, my Twitter feed, I'm, you know, I've made uh, pictures probably like two every few hours or so. I'm trying to keep it limited, just so everyone knows if, uh, what's going on here, who isn't here, and can check on people that didn't, you know, check on what the situation is. And like I said, it's pretty calm right now. Uh, Mary is is in high spirits. Uh, we we're joking that she seems to be doing better than we are. <laughs> Just constantly uh, playing music and dancing and trying to convince everyone to sing with her. And so it's been she she's been a very inspiring person to to meet and very empowering. But besides that, you know, it's just uh, in the air. Uh, still, the pipeline has not really been able to extend too much further. Like I said, I think they're just focusing on building a road to here to figure out how to extract Mary and, and the folks who are in these trees, which I, I can't even imagine how they will do it. It doesn't really seem like something that's possible. But we'll see. Um, if you can, you can drop questions into my chat uh, feed, and I can answer them. Again, I apologize for the video being frozen. I assume it's going to be like that pretty often. Uh, I, I don't have the tech to stay up, and also I'm in the middle of nowhere. So running off film, almost any cell phone company out here is not really super extremely powerful. So this is the best we can do. And I'll keep doing it, though. I think it's important that people can access this area even somewhat and understand and get um, some information out of here. But yeah, it's really uh, it's been a, a pretty nice day. Uh, I mean, there's really nothing much, much to argue about. I'm just kind of hanging out, playing cards, talking, uh, learning about, you know, what brought people here, or a little bit of what brought people here. In some cases, people told me they've, had, they've you know, had dreams that they should do this, and they did, you know. You know, my experience was, you know, just hearing the call for media support and coming out to do that. And, yeah, so everyone kind of has come here to this place for this moment. And the tar sands uh, pipeline seems to be blocked. And that's why I put earlier that it just seems really simple. Like, if you you want to stop something, you stop it. Like, if you're to stop a pipeline going in, you, you blockade it. You know, you, know you, you put your body in the line. And I think that's a really interesting way to look at it. Yeah, we, we are, everyone here is okay. I'm going to be up for another minute and a half. But uh, as far as I know, everyone's okay. Uh, I remember the last three medics told me, remind me not to sleep with my shoes on, so I took them off. I actually slept with them on, took them off uh, today. I've actually been barefoot most of the day on this walkway. The planks are, you know, really smooth. Uh, the channel, and yeah, it's pretty uh, like incredible feat of engineering to see this, uh, like the blockade go up, and the fact that there's tree houses all around me that I haven't been up to. I only, I, I personally don't think I will be going to any of those locations. I, I don't think I have the skills needed to climb like just hundreds of feet of rope to get anywhere. But uh, people are able to do it. Uh, I've witnessed a few folks do it multiple times now with ease, um, me coming up the 40 feet on a rope to <clears throat> cover this was excruciating. I, I, I don't know how folks can do it so easily, but definitely, I definitely used muscles I didn't know existed, and they didn't like knowing that they were being used, because I was pretty sore all day. Anyways, um, <clears throat> we'll wind down. Uh, I, I, I am, actually, I'm taking notes, I'm writing an article about the experience and afterwards so I'm not taking a lot of notes I have a tiny notebook and I've always been bad in notes so but I am taking these audio recordings which in a sense are pretty good notes so all right well again I'll come back live probably at 10 p.m. to do another uh, nightly update before we get to sleep last night I actually went to bed earlier than I think I've gone to bed in 
I don't even know how long. So I want to thank everyone out there who's uh, watching and listening and supporting whatever way you can. Please uh, go look at the Tar Sands Blockade or has you know joined the support the Tar Sands Blockade. If you want more information, also if you want to go ahead and Google the Alberta Tar Sands for information of what the Tar Sands are. And if you want, you can go that do that further and go ahead and ask people who don't know about them to look it up. Uh, I was pretty surprised when I was telling folks that I was coming down here to help cover this. So they didn't know what the tar sands were and they didn't know what the XL uh, pipeline is. And so, yeah, make sure that, you know, you just kind of share that word of mouth. Uh, let people know the information. There, there are folks here uh, putting their, their bodies in the line and putting themselves in the way of the pipeline to ensure that it doesn't, you know, as long as they say it doesn't go into the ground. And they made that choice for themselves and brought themselves here. And I've come to ensure that, well, many people have, not just me. I've come to ensure that, you know, that nothing goes hidden and people can see what's happening. And understand this is a story of this country that it usually isn't heard. You know, three blockades aren't, it's, it's not, this isn't like the first one. You know, there's been encampments, there's been blockades, there's been protests, but the, the media that gets out of it is usually very, uh, very poor. So... Hopefully we can do our best to get that out there. Uh, Courtney Occupy, I'm actually in a a walkway right now. I'm being held up, I think, by Young Oaks, if I was remembering correctly. Um, it was worded that they were picked out and ceremonially cut down and then placed, and then where that they're and they're forming a blockade to protect the trees behind them and their trees of their elders. Something like it was where like that was very uh, kind of beautiful way to, to word it, but you get, there was, they're painfully chosen from what I understand. Again, I just got here, so I'm learning all this with you as the days go on. Uh, tomorrow will be, I guess, my third day up, I think. What time did I get here? Yeah, yeah, it'll be my third day up here. Uh, today's my winding down to my second, and I'll do my best to continue updating you all. Uh, as but yeah, I want to do a pretty standard update from things like I said, 8 in the morning, uh, 1 p.m., 6 p.m., and then 10 p.m. I might move that 6 p.m. to 5, we'll mess it around a little bit. But right now, uh, we'll be back live at 10 p.m. Central. Uh, do another nightly update, let everyone know how everyone's feeling. Uh, make sure folks know that everyone here is doing Okay, again, I haven't visited the tree houses, so I can't give you updates on how the folks are doing up there. But from what I understand, one of our visitors is from a tree house, and they seem to be doing very well. Hey, sounds good, Courtney Occupy. Uh, Susan Maui, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and shut this down now for a few hours. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to work out uh, tech issues. Again, I'm willing always to go anywhere to cover any story that's happening. just have to be able to do it. I don't think I'm doing the best job right now due to the lack of video. I apologize for that. But we'll, we'll work on it. So thank you again. And um, definitely check out those sites. Uh, check out... On Twitter, check out at KXL Blockade. If you want any information on the blockade itself, they're tweeting pretty, pretty much everything about the blockade. And also, you can follow me on Twitter uh, at Larry Camera. I'm putting out tweets throughout the day uh, with pictures and um, just typically what's happening. And again, I'll be doing these live updates uh, four times a day.